you are watching this video, you might be someone who has given up on some connection. You might be thinking like this connection is gone. This person's never going to come back to my life. And you know what? This can be very much shocking for you in past situations. But this time you are feeling like quite calm and composed and you are feeling like a kind of a sense of relief that you could let this connection go. You're feeling like it's okay. It's okay this time because I can't fight anymore. So if it is gone, it is gone. I cannot do anything about it. And um, you are feeling like this person is never going to come back to me. And somehow you have accepted that this person is not going to come back. This relationship is over. This person is gone from your life forever. Okay. Even though after a long time resisting it, you have finally accepted that. And that is why you are feeling some kind of peace in your heart. Even though on the surface there are a lot of things going on. But somehow deep inside you are getting a sense of uh, peace. You know, like, you know, I know, like, I know that I don't have to fight for it anymore. I don't have to fight for it. Like, you know, getting that connection anymore. Communication that, um, you know, that person committing to me, coming to see me or taking me out. I don't have to do those things anymore because all those things I have been doing all these years is fighting to get this attention. And I was waiting for this person to change. But you know what? It feels like you have given up of the hope that this person is ever going to change. And now you have realized that you have accepted that this person is not even going to come back this time. This is what you are thinking. But I am channeling the energy from your person, okay? Now what I am sensing here, this person is now going through tremendous anxiety. Tremendous anxiety. I am kind of feeling uh, of a person who is feeling quite restless, pulling their hair sometime. And I am also feeling like they are just constantly, um, you know, somehow looking for your messages, wherever it is, like... Uh, checking on you and this person is also also trying to um, the energy that i'm feeling like this person is anxious they are waiting for your message and they are actually was they were thinking that you're gonna come back to them because this person was very very confident that you're never gonna go leave them but what exactly i'm feeling like somehow it's a big shock for that person that you are not gonna come back but the fact is you somehow accepted that that this person is not going to come back and I am not going forward. But this is putting this person into a, in a under the limbo situation. Because this person is not quite used to come forward and, and you know, main this relationship. Because they are quite used to you going forward and do the things for them. Um, there might be, they're showing, showing me a water stream, like a river. That can be significant. Maybe your person um, leaves or you made there somewhere the river stream. Um, also, they are showing me a significance of a kind of a shop. Tea, like it's kind of a shop where you brought some tea. Tea. You brought some tea. Okay. That can be something significant. Um, and also, they're showing me aeroplanes. Some kind of travel might be in your side or their side, like a world travel car that I'm seeing here. And also, I'm seeing some kind of red car. That can be, this can be some kind of confirmation. Butterflies, yellow butterflies can be some kind of confirmation. And they're also showing me, um, it's like a, something big, kind of a ball kind of thing. I don't know how to, it can be a ball, but I'm not sure what exactly I'm seeing. I'm seeing a like huge, round, um, like a shape thing. Um, big, like a real big ball kind of a thing. I don't know what it signifies. You might be knowing what I'm talking about. Also, that um, another thing is like uh, coming up um, that I'm seeing like kind of related to fish bone. I don't know what, what this uh, channel messages are, but it can be relevant to you. You might be knowing. Okay, even if you are not relating with this one, this reading might be for you if it resonates with you. Okay, but this person is literally 1111 on my counter. This person, you might be seeing 1111. Okay, this person literally now kind of a feeling like, what do I do now? What do I do now? Like this is an anxiety because this person feeling like if I go, it will be like my ego doesn't permit me to go. And this person somehow feeling that it is you are not coming back. Um, you, your energy is totally off. It's different. Okay. And, uh, and this person is somehow trying to find out information about you. That they are trying to get a kind of an indication that you are still holding on to this connection. You are still with them. Like they are trying to find out in your online story. If you do have online stories, honey, please don't comment like I don't have online. It's, it's a collective reading. So take what resonant, leave what doesn't. So this person is trying to find out from your friends or family or somewhere, some kind of stalking, like to find out whether you're still interested in this person, to find out a single clue about you, whether you really moved on. This person, and, and also I'm sensing like, 
I'm, I'm getting a lot of downloads okay i'm feeling like this person was initially felt like i don't care that's fine they're gone i'm feeling a sense of relief after that they become very curious but now there's the anxiety clicking in it's like did they move on with somebody or am i not good enough or what did i do wrong this person is going through those things they're trying to find out they're reading your old conversation i'm seeing that they're reading those old conversations going through old chat all the old you know something nostalgic feeling like you know reading all those things again and again and also trying to see look back and see your behavior pattern how you might have done in past in this kind of situation because i feel this is not the first time and also i'm picking up with the energy that with all those analysis this person trying to understand trying to make a theory in their mind whether you're going to come back or not okay but something is spinning off to their mind that this time this looks a bit different it's not the same that i have seen them this person before so something is not aligning with the theory they are trying to put in so let me see what else comes up at ace of the cup on the bottom of the deck they did show me for a reason all right but i'm gonna put it back so um this person literally kind of um missing you it's like their emotion is overpouring you know queen of cups cup energy is everywhere it's a long lot of emotion you might be somebody who is a giver you probably did more than you know to this connection like you know this person did you are some of some kind of a person who will be always there like you know um, you know can i be can we meet oh yes anytime can you make a time for me yes i will remove all my schedule i will be there i have some problem okay i am here to help you so it's like you are always there to assist this person to make their life easy to give them always giving them caring for them like a nurturing caring with all your emotions the queen of cup is somebody is like a giver energy okay you might be water sign your person might be water sign water sign is dominated cancer scorpio pisces yeah so um yeah let us see what else comes up king of wand and this three of cups there might be third party situations also okay this person might be choosing you know this person is a i'm sensing that this person in some way is a very weak hearted person so it's like rather than fighting for you with the world this person will fight with you for the world that kind of a thing they will fight with you for each and everybody where in a relationship it they should be like fighting for you with the world but it is just the opposite they didn't value you i think this person took you for granted for a long time i think this person thought that you are never going to change it's like you will be always there like the way you are but this person probably didn't understand that there might be a transformation that can also happen within you okay they because the way you are a queen of cups it's like they are the energy they can give everything but you know there's a water sign a very you know compassionate loving caring that's the energy but that's the reason this person probably thought that 717 on my counter for a reason you might see this so um it's like this isn't gonna be a little bit longer one okay i'm gonna post a full video in my youtube video because there are a lot a lot of i'm downloading here right now so if you want to watch the full video please follow to my youtube channel let's ask tarot and my only tiktok channel account is divine mother's guidance with 141k plus followers all the other accounts are backup accounts and those things those are scam okay don't interact with them i will never follow you or for your dm reading anyway so what i'm talking about i'm sensing that this person never ever thought that um you're gonna ever change you, you never can be somebody than what they thought you and they feel that they have a very strong control over you by emotionally they can just they know you exactly what you can do you are very predictable this person thought but i think with the energy right now your energy you are very different this time it's it's un, it's not what usual predictable situation so i think you are you are some kind of very grounded normally in this situation you probably will be very much you know uh, chaotic crying and you know chaos in your mind but it feels you are so grounded you are i think the divine your angels are protecting you they're giving you so much support this time with to go through this one and you are feeling so grounded okay so this person probably sensing that something is odd this time something is not adding up but they are not being able to understand what exactly going on they probably thinking that you probably got somebody like a third party or something. sorry that's my alarm so um you might have got with somebody else maybe some third party or something or you might have somebody uh you know some other other way invested but it feels like you i don't feel like you are into third party i think you are you know in an era of self-love you are somehow feeling like i have done enough 
so this is their turn to prove me so, ignore my hair this looks crazy um yeah so um this is my turn to pull my energy back because this person is not going to change somehow you are feeling like this person is not going to change and I'm, I'm just finding it very different it's a day here look at this three of wands knight of pentacles lot of messages are coming up here Ten of Wands. This person is fucking burdened with the situation completely. Ten of Pentacles. Moon. The moon is here. I knew this. What was that? The Eight of Wands literally jumped. Literally flied. Alright. Let's see. Knight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. This is big. This is really, really big. See that Ace of Cups popped up again. It came back again. Now the bottom of the deck comes Six of Cups. Nostalgia. This feeling of going back to the memories. Thinking about all the old memories. Okay. See lots of cards came up. So this is going to be a big message. Okay. Whoever watching this video. It's probably. You probably. It's in an era where you are. It's a life changing thing going on in your life. Okay. Now what I'm sensing here. Definitely. This person is going through this moon energy. The moon energy is an energy of anxiety, tension, anxiety. And you might be seeing dreams of this person. They might be coming up, popping up on your dreams also. Because you might be feeling like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, I'm moving on, but why am I dreaming this person and again and again? This person is actually constantly thinking about you. Constantly. They are trying to find out like where they are standing for you. Because they can feel this nine of pentacle energy from you. Nine of Pentacles is a pre-empress energy. She is somebody who is completely into the self-love zone. Didn't I say that? You are into the self-love mode. Nine of Pentacles is a card where somebody is completely self-obsessed, self-focused, putting the energy back to themselves, building up their money, their dressing up, their glowing up. You might have gone through some recent glow up. Okay. And this person is seeing these things. And that's why they're thinking like, this is not usual because this is my queen of cup. This person by now will be emotionally devastated because I'm not talking to them. I'm in a separation with them. But what the fuck is going on that this person is different? They feel your energy and they're trying to analyze where this strength is coming from. Where or are you pretending or you are showing off or you are just trying to be something else or wearing a false mask? But I'm feeling like you are not. I'm feeling like you literally are very strong this time. Again, I'm telling you, if you this is a your reading, then it is a life changing thing happening in your life because I'm channeling the message that this is something you are. It's not you are doing your inner work. That is absolutely amazing and that is definitely working. But I think your divine, your guides want you to be in this energy right now. Because I believe your guides and your spirit guides or your ancestors or your God, whoever you believe in, they have seen your tears. And now they are guarding you. I'm sensing like it's like a protection against you. It's like we are not letting you cry anymore. We are protecting you. Now enough is enough. You need to stay strong. We will keep you strong. We will not let you break down this time. Because all the time what happens is like you breaking down, going to this person and again and again and this person treating you. Sorry, that's my alarm. Okay. So, um, so this person treating you again and again in the same way. I think this is not good for the person. This is not good for you. This is not good for the relationship. I think the, your spirit guides, ancestors were tried to give you the sign previously also. But uh, you actually could not um, align with the sign. You actually ignored that. All right. So this is the time when they are literally guarding you. It's like a wall created around you that you are not even feeling the absence of this person. Okay, this is what I'm sensing. Like this is a very specific message. You want, you, we will not let you feel the absence. One, one, one on my counter for a reason. So it's like they, the way the surroundings are going for you right now, maybe you got caught some new project which is keeping you very busy. You might have gone some kind of work out of nowhere, which like something, some kind of commitment came up on your life that it's completely taking away your focus. Even though you're thinking about them, but your focus has been taken away from the situation. So your divine, your ancestors, spirit guides are literally now taking your focus away from you. So you can't even sit down there and think about them. This is what exactly going on in your life. All right, I will be posting the full video in my YouTube channel. Let's Ask Tarot. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for the to support your Didi and watch the full video over there. This is a very interesting reading and I'm channeling that this is going to be a life-changing event for you. Okay, in this relationship. 
um now yeah so now what is going on here right now that this person's anxiety is building up very much anxiety the moon is about anxiety is about you know i don't know what to do right now i'm getting i'm feeling a chest tightening like it's like somebody is literally feeling what what i do now what i do now did i lose them forever that's the energy so this part you might be watching in the youtube channel because the tiktok i just posted the half one um because it's too big videos are not good for tiktok listen now what is i'm showing up show, what is this showing up here this person's moon energy as i said moon is the energy that's in the subconscious the fear the anxiety the tension that this is building up in this person's life because that energy is of detachment is this person is feeling this the reason they are anxious because they truly love you they truly love you they love you their cup is overpouring see this they love you more than they even thought i think this person might be in some way they are not in tune with their emotion this person probably don't feel the emotion they don't even know how they feel about you because they probably were thought on a surface level yeah i'll be fine i don't care i can let them go they are not going to impact my life anyways i can handle this but when you are gone this detachment shit happens and also with that assurance that you never going to leave them you're going to be forever with them that kind of a confidence they have it feels like right now this person in utterly in shock and the, interestingly here i see here there are three knights here out of the four knights three knights are here only the knight missing is the knight of wand and here it comes the king of wand okay so this is very interesting because see this after the moon here is the two of two of swords and that's that's also comes with the moon here so the clatter that shit is going on in their head they can't make a decision and they are standing on they're trying to you know close their eyes shut their eyes and not be emotional but they are standing on their emotion look at this they are standing on the water so their water when you stand in a water and close your eyes with a shot like that it's an imbalance it's very hard to keep keep your balance so the they are not being able to balance this out and the mentally they are like so much of anxiety they don't know which way to go they a part of them it's saying that no you have to stand up because you have to wait because they are still waiting there is still a waiting energy i think somehow they are manifesting you but they have been doing it for quite a long time but they are feeling like that thing is not working somehow this manifestation which probably this person might be manifesting they know into the manifesting i don't know how but i'm getting that why they might be manifesting or they are be envisioning they might be waiting and they were pretty confident that it is going to happen but this time this person is getting the vibe from you it's not it's not it's completely detached energy it's a detached energy and that is what putting them into so much of burden so much of burden now the burden is not only because you are not there it is like i believe with the queen of cup you might be somebody very spiritual because it is a very strong water sign you know the queen of cup is a is the energy of some psychic some spiritual person you might be a gifted person okay um in whichever way okay so the person when you know what people don't understand when you are with a spiritual person their energy their aura makes it different when you are with somebody you truly love them you care for them your energy totally protects them from any negative any odds any bad karma any evil things coming towards them because your prayer is always manifesting around them so you make their life easy in all possible way now when a spiritual person pulls their energy back what happens is like definitely you are like any tom dick harry people don't understand how powerful energy is we give away our energy very like that we feel like oh we are not special they are special but we don't understand that our energy make a person special okay this is important to understand and recognize so when you pull your energy back that person is left with all that shit show that they have been dealing in their life everybody does but spiritual world is different prayers are very powerful you believe it you don't believe it okay but anyways why you been pulling your energy back this person is going to a lot of wand energy this is burden see this how much load they are carrying they are not being able to manage them properly so it's like coming out so there's things are getting scattered so it feels like now this person is going through a lot a lot but they might this might be they might be have a like a family they might be married or the family also this maybe that this card is like you might have a future plan with this person this person probably did show you some kind of future 
um, with them. But somehow this distraction happened. But now what I'm sensing here, this person is feeling so overhand, so emotional. And with this so many nights, they really want to get some kind of communication from you or communicate with you. Really wants to communicate with you. But you know, there's a lot of hesitation energy. The hesitant because that's a part it's still holding on. No, I should not be going fast. They should be coming fast. Because they are the queen of cups. Why they are not coming back? They are supposed to come back to me because they, they said they love me. If they love me, why they are not coming back? So there is a turbulence going on in their mind. They are not even understanding that. You love them doesn't really mean that you will be taking their bullshit all the time. This part of this person, this is why your angels are protecting you. And they are not letting you break down this time. Because I believe this is a learning lesson this person needs to learn. This is what the learning lesson for them. That... If you, if somebody love you, loves you, doesn't really mean that every time it is their need to come back. Love is not a need. Love is an independent feeling. So you coming, you know, they will not be begging to you come back to their life just because they love you. Okay. There can be a possibility if they do love you, then they can still walk away from you. It is possible. So this lesson this person needs to learn. I believe that's the reason you are feeling like a strength inside you. And you are walking away. You are not looking back. That this time, no, I'm not going there. Because you are not even feeling like that. It is because of your ancestors and spirit guides are protecting you. They are not letting you go this time. So this is a phase of this learning phase for this person. That they can wait forever. But this time it is not going to happen. They need to learn that... Even you, you deeply and madly love them. You can walk away from them. And if for real, for real, it can happen. So this person, if they want to wait for the rest of their life, I, will, I think that they will be for the rest of the, their life waiting for you. And you are not, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your divine is not letting you to go back to this person anymore. This time, they will make you go forward. And if they come back, then only you decide whether you want to take them or not. But I don't think your ancestors is going to make you go back to this person and beg them to come back to your life. They are being very strong this time. And I'm sensing like whoever is this reading is for, it is for the higher good of you, for the higher good of this person or higher good of this relationship. Because this person's belief systems are totally hollow, shallow. They don't have that belief system. They don't understand what is love. They don't understand that love is so powerful that a person who loves you madly, they can leave you forever. Love is not a codependency. That, oh, you love me. You said you love me, so you're never going to leave me. That confidence needs to break. And this is why they are taking you forward. See this eight of wand. You will be going forward this time. You are not going backward this time. You are going forward. If they have to meet you as a knight or the king, they will come back and they will for meet you somewhere. And yes, I feel like in some cases, if this person needs to meet you, if they want to come back to your life, uh, they need a new beginning in this connection, a rebirth, they need to come forward. And this rebirth card is coming with eight of one. So this person, it is a time for this person to realize that if they have to meet you, they will come forward and take the forward motion. Sitting there and waiting for a princess treatment for you, it's over. You are not going to give them that princess treatment anymore. Or, you know, even though they are prince, they are waiting for a princess treatment. Because that's what it's a expectation of a woman, feminine energy. So if you, you are dealing with a man who is waiting like that, they are not man. They are feminine. Or they are feminine man. Like, you know, feminine energy. So... This is what they are waiting for. So this treatment is not going to come from you anymore. Okay. I don't think your divine is going to let you do that. So go. If this is your story. Honey, listen. It's, 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 it's a life changing period for you. And yes, with this six of cups, I would say that this person, you know, this is a disappointed. Underneath there's a four of cups. I think this person and you have a past life connection. It can be also a soulmate connection. So, um, you know, this person for the higher good of everyone. This person need to understand some values about love and relationship. They need to understand the values of connection, importance of connection, importance of communication, of respect, mutual respect. People can do fight. It can happen. But talking, speaking it, then, you know, resolving it. That's how it is supposed to be. Running away from problem is not the solution. Giving you cold shoulders, stonewalling you, ghosting you, silent treatment. This is not fair. 
so if they need to learn their lesson they will meet you somewhere and if they don't learn your lesson i think it is your time to learn your lesson that this is not something you're going to do rest of your life they will be sitting there like a princess like a queen and you will be going there and begging and bragging every time this is not good because at the end of the day for the rest of your life you will be doing like this okay so this person need to learn that this is unfair this doesn't happen this is not going to work anymore okay they need to stand up like who they are whoever they are they are not special relationship is equal so if they are special you are special too in their eyes they might be special because you made them feel special so now give the special treatment to yourself okay i think your your ancestors and your spirit guides are working very well on this so love yourself keep doing your life keep focusing on your life and definitely going backward and begging and bragging is not going to help yes but if you are the person who has done this you should go back but i don't think it's a reading i'm like you might you might not be watching up to this video because you discarded them no i don't think so i believe the people who are watching up to this part of the video they've been discarded and they are the people i'm talking about so if they discarded you no 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 get ready to take the biggest hit in your heart for once that if this person doesn't come back to you after discarding you they never loved you take it from me if they don't come back they never loved you so in that case you are not losing anything period you are not losing anything so remember that you need to stand in your power love yourself focus on yourself and keep doing your life okay because you deserve the best for yourself you know 333 on my counter listen life is not all about all about getting a person to make us feel special this feeling special feeling should come from within you cannot rely on anybody to make you feel special your husband your wife your children nobody nobody it should come within you so and if you think like i want to go for any other relationship don't jump from relation to relationship it doesn't work that way you need to really make a decision let the other person go completely heal yourself then only you should be going to other relationship jumping from one relationship to another relationship is never successful so take this time for yourself heal yourself go forward ground yourself let go all the pain and sort of and i would say give up on this just give up on this don't wait for this person because this is important decide that that i am not waiting for them anymore if they come that is a different story but don't wait for them anymore move on with your life many it might hit many people hard but i'm telling you even though i'm saying that this person is thinking about communication and all those things but i will still tell you this is your time to decide that i am moving forward i'm not waiting anymore okay this is important 2 to 2 on my counter you take care sweetheart love you and stay strong